Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Bitcoin. Big old Coins Kid crew. So right now, Bitcoin. Personally, what I'm going to tell you, what I'm going to do. I'm going short, yeah, on BitGet, and my stop loss is a 20 EMA. And if I get stopped out, I get stopped out. So my stop loss is at 21062. Now the bullish statement from Bitcoin here would be closing outside of this level of resistance that you've been completely running into, and then coming back for support. Okay, so I'm a little bit more biased to the fact that I think we might roll today, uh, leading into the next couple of days. Uh, what day is it? Thursday, leading into the weekend, we might get a bit of a roll. Okay, where we do start to coil up some more inside this pattern, and all this is tradable. Okay, so my stop loss at the moment on BitGet, the link is in each and every single video description is currently at 21062 and my potential short opportunity is going to be coming all the way down to that trend line okay so i think uh, it's around about six percent short up from there all the way down yeah six percent and my stop loss you know if i do get stopped out would be roughly up there around about 2.51 percent and again don't over leverage don't be a degen don't go and rely savings but bit get have got an amazing sign up bonus right now if you want to click the link and get involved with them that'd be amazing and equally right here what i think we might do is roll come back down to support and coil up really close to this apex and at that point you know if you start to break go long if you start to lose support go short really for a retest of that trend line uh, for that support that we put in in June basically so th there is a bit of a bearish pattern here to be honest with you uh, from there to there you could deem this as some kind of bear pattern so you come down you're calling up you're calling up you're calling up like this okay and if you do start to come down lose support you're going to get continuation and you could say okay well the technical target would be from there to there and you would start to see Bitcoin come down to around about 12k which would be really really drastic wouldn't it but from here right now you know if you was to sort of give more presence to this playing out you could be looking at a monster short around about 43% for Bitcoin which is absolutely astronomical isn't it you know for bitcoin right there will it happen who knows but what i'm looking at for me personally as i just want to see confirmation of that low put in last month okay obviously it is what it is if we coil up coil up and we break down you know you're going to get the continuation you're sweeping that low and we're breaking all levels of support and, and, and historical data there is out the window and i do think that that would be quite worrying uh some for crypto you know for my honest opinion i think that you would be losing structure and technical support we've held for you know a very very long time right there for bitcoin but again anything can happen now the bullish scenario here for me would be just breaking this level of resistance if you start to close outside of this at any point for bitcoin i think that what you've got is a potential w double bottom pan like this and essentially some kind of ascending triangle where that was your resistance and now it's your support uh, that was your support sorry and now you've turned it into resistance just there and you're coiling up like this okay that's a bullish scenario for bitcoin and it would confirm if you do start to do something like that and break out that that was your low right there for bitcoin in june that all indicators pointed to okay not hopium not price action not anything like that it's timeline it was signals in the charts okay so many signals which i've shown you so you know i'll sh always show you every single scenario so it's all about support and resistance if we do start to see bitcoin break down and it has a meltdown in the markets i would anticipate okay all right then you know your perma bears are right we're looking for something like that but in my opinion um you know i always say to you over extension lease retracement and, and in my opinion i think you're really really far away from the ema for that uh, particular scenario to play out but that's just something that's my own judgment of experience of charting that you know we are extremely overextended from the 20 at that point I and mean, we look at that overextension that's phenomenal uh, in my opinion but you know this is we're uncharted waters if we do that and that's exactly what it is isn't it for bitcoin so you know what i'm looking at potentially is a little short today off here rolling back down close my short on that level of support down there retest of that if we can hold that that could actually be a good place to go long you know start to come up and negate this bearish pattern as soon as we break out of this trend line here we're negating this pennant that everyone keeps talking about aren't they you know break out and you, you you're sort of confirming this ascending triangle which is the bullish pattern as opposed to this bearish pattern do you understand what i'm saying to you so this is why people say oh you say it's either going to go up or down but it's all about support and resistance that's all it is okay you, you can't conclusively say you're going to go up or down unless you're losing support or resistance it really is that simple and inside of that you get compression that leads to expansion so right now like i said to you there's some kind of compression that's going in on the daily by holding a 10 and this resistance with a bearish divergence so i'm sort of more biased as a trader as a technical analyst to the fact that we're putting in that bearish divergence and we're looking like we're going to roll here down to this trend line if it holds fantastic close your short open along again with a tight stop loss potentially that low okay and then you ride it back up okay and then you're confirming that you're coming down doing something like that you're getting compression just there in this apex of this potential pennant and then you're going to break to the upside and negate the pennant or you're going to lose it and come down you've got the monster short down there for bitcoin okay so i wish 
wish I could say to you, yeah, 100% you're going to do this, do that. But what I try to do on the channel is just educate you and teach you about patterns and price action and support and resistance. And I see so many people overcomplicating the charts by using far too many indicators. And I, my job since I started this is just simplify the process. Don't overcomplicate it. You know, I see so many people loading the charts with thousands of indicators when you really only need a few, you know, EMAs, especially price action, most importantly. And obviously the, the, the RSI is quite a big indicator to get into your charts as well. Uh, and obviously the stock RSI, if we take a look at the stock, you can see we're pretty much at the top. So we are in actually a, a good position here for this to actually roll, come back down and retest that. So this is why I'm sort of more biased to the fact that we could look in, be looking to go short today on BitGet. Okay, we're really tight stop loss, like I said to you on the 20 EMA right there. Hope you enjoyed that update. Remember, all this can be done on BitGet. The link is in each and every single video description. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay tuned. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.